action. Oh, welcome to another exciting episode of Brian's Table Talks. My pal Hal's here recording. We always thank him because he does all the work. I just sit in front and have a, have a good time. So we've been doing this for, I guess, over a year now. And probably a little bit, a little more than a year ago, we did a, a table talk, talked about a book I'd read by uh, Scott Kelly, an astronaut. He spent a, a year in space. And it was right at the beginning of the pandemic. And I remember talking about how we were going into something that was similar. We were going into lockdown. And just like Scott Kelly, when he was on the space station for a year, he couldn't just leave his space station, go to a local park or go to a store. He had to be there for everything to be delivered. Well, here we are, a little over a year later, maybe, and we're starting to see some laxing of the protocols. We're starting to see uh, groups starting to get back to live together a little bit and a little bit more freedoms going on. And I was thinking the other day, when Scott Kelly came back to Earth, he wasn't able to just jump right back into where he left off. He wasn't physically ready. He wasn't emotionally ready. He had to ease back into Earth life, if you will. And I'm thinking about what's going on today as we ease back into uh, communities that we have to have patience. We have to have a measure of curiosity. Uh, I hear the phrase, I can't wait for things to be normal again. Well, one of the constants in life is change. Normal is always changing. And I, I want to encourage everybody, just like Scott Kelly, when he came back from a year in space, we're coming out of a year of at least a year of pandemic. To do so with patience, to do so with curiosity, to be safe. You know, we certainly don't want to see people get sick all of a sudden because we rush into something. You know, we need to take time to, okay, this week we'll start going to the store and see how that works. Maybe next week we'll go to a restaurant. Keep the masks in place. Instead of being six feet apart, maybe we can try three feet. And as we work back into it, we will discover what normal is like. Uh, I hear people say it's going to be great when we no longer wear masks. As a pastor, as a person, I'm not sure we'll ever get to that. Um, we've learned that masks help reduce flu and colds, for example, especially in the elderly. Uh, we're coming into something different. And again, I think the key words that we need to remember certainly is kindness and patience and be willing to learn. What was is just that. It's gone. It's past tense. What will be? I can't predict, but I do know that we're going to do it together. We're not going to do it as individuals. We're going to do it as communities. We're going to do it as neighbors and friends and families. And our communities, I think, will be stronger when all this is done. We're coming back from a place that we've never been before. And we're coming back home and we're coming back into to churches and the sporting events. And Hal and I talk a lot of sports. I can't wait to go to a sporting event somewhere in the near future. But I'm not going to be in a hurry to do it because I want to be around long enough to do it again. Friends, I hope and pray that you're safe, that you have some, find something to laugh about today, a, a, short, a story to share, and find enjoyment in life, because that's what life is about, is about living. Friends, it's been Brian's Table Talks. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.